Hello, everybody, and welcome to World Peace Pro Wrestling Season 6. Tonight, it's Big Top, our evening of action inside the octagon. In the words of FTR, no flips, just fists. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Our goal this week is 17 likes. Let's do it. Let's push it to 17. Also, don't forget, World Peace Pro is a living, breathing machine. Comments and suggestions are always welcome. Let's dive into the deep end with our kickoff, ACH versus Congo Kong. Kong finishes the match with an emphatic powerbomb whip just a few minutes into the second round for a 76%. I'm very curious to see how both of these competitors perform in the upcoming Night Terror Tournament. Let's now travel back in time to Season 5 Orion League Finals. At the end of that event, Dog Vision's momentum hit plus 10 which means, as a heel stable, they were able to book a future event card in their own favor. Well, here we are. This was a conceptual challenge to say the least. It's not perfect, but here is what we have planned. Luchadora Cobra Moon enters the octagon against the powerhouse Bryant Reeves for the Grizzlies Memorial. Joe Exotic preys on the brittle Hiroshi Tenzan for the Cameron heavyweight title. Bam Bam Bigelow in a completely unearned title match against Warren Buffett for the prestigious Kong Vision Championship. And our main event, Natsuko Tora, comes for Bull Nakano's prestigious Big Country Belt. But first, enhancement talent Renee Danger makes her World Peace Pro debut by challenging Vikingo for the prestigious Cream of the Crop. The circumstances are ludicrous, but the stakes are real. If Danger wins this match, not only will she be the first enhancement talent to ever earn a title, a prestigious title at that, she will be sent on excursion at the end of the year, and Vikingo will be forced to put his career on the line at the next earliest opportunity. If Vikingo wins, he earns nothing. Dastardly booking. Kingo makes it out alive in 8 minutes and 9 seconds. A spinning arm slam, 89%. Wow, uh, that is a relief. I am sweating over here. Next up, Dragon Rojo Jr. challenges the bear for the Horseshoe Bay Championship. You gotta think the intention with this match was to try and knock the bear out of the top three, but 
it doesn't seem very wise to me to literally lock yourself in a cage with a wild animal. But Rojo Jr. knows what he's doing, right? Right? Oh, the bear. The bear gigs the hard way, but still manages to overpower Rojo Jr. with relative ease for a 79%. So uh, with that, let's check out the standings. Surprise contender Natsuko Tora is third overall. Uh, with that last win, the bear has shimmied her way into second place, and Bull Nakano still sits upon the throne as the top-ranked Season 6 wrestler. Next up, Dog Vision's despicable booking strikes again. They pit Sonic Boom rookie Piston Honda versus the leader of his own stable, Tom Nakano. No titles involved in this one, but this kind of thing can ratchet up tension between stable mates in unpredictable ways. Piston Honda pops Nakano in the chin and knocks her out cold. Oh, an 82%. That's great. There don't appear to be any hard feelings between the two stablemates, but we'll have to keep a close eye on their relationship going forward. Two other matches to report on tonight. Tomato Dragon's progress up the rankings was stalled when he was booked to fight enhancement talent Nutshot Jones. Dragon won in the second round for a very solid 88%. And Vince McMahon picked up his first World Peace Pro win over fellow rookie Becky Lynch for a 78%. A friendly reminder that you can find all of the matches uncut by following the links in the description below. Next up, David versus Goliath. The quick and clever luchadora Cobra Moon steps into the octagon versus the colossal Bryant Big Country Reeves for the Grizzlies Memorial. And just like that, it's over. Cobra Moon makes the sensible decision, you can't blame her, to tap out mere seconds into the second round. A rare 70% match for Moon. Okay, here we go. Joe Exotic looks to pick up some low-hanging fruit. He challenges the brittle Hiroyoshi Tenzan for the Cameron Championship. Tenzan's injuries have been mounting, and he is not in a good place, physically speaking. Stepping into the octagon versus the very dangerous exotic could spell disaster.
exotic paints the octagon with Tenzon. Tenzon just kind of collapsed at the end there from blood loss, maybe. I don't blame him. I mean, look at this. Ugh. Thankfully, he did not suffer an injury in the match. Our penultimate match of the evening, Bam Bam Bigelow challenges Warren Buffett for the prestigious Kong Vision Championship. Bigelow is coming off a loss to Tenzon at Flashing Lights and really has no business challenging for this title. But that is Dog Vision booking in action. Buffett has been looking very strong lately, but the octagon is where the big men shine. Let's see if Bigelow can take advantage. Bam Bigelow is your new Kong Vision Champion. He finishes off Buffett in style, a 91% rating. Hell of a contest. So now that Bigelow has possession of the Kong Vision belt, Bam Bam can expect Kongo Kong to come looking for it. Time for our main event, Natsuko Tora versus Bull Nakano for the prestigious Big Country belt. There is a bit of a log jam in the standings between 4th and 2nd place, but if Natsuko can do the impossible and upset Nakano here, not only will she be the new Big Country Belt title holder, she will also launch herself into 1st position overall. This will be the 3rd singles match between these two, with Bull taking the W in both of their previous matches. I have to admit, I feel compelled to root for Tora. I'm a sucker. For the underdog, let's do it! Natsuko Tora has broken through in her sixth season. Natsuko Tora is the top ranked World Peace Pro Wrestler. Wow. An 87%. This is why I love this league so much. I never would have guessed that Tora, of all people, would be such a force this season. Amazing. So with that win, it looks like Dog Vision made out like bandits. Oh, except for Rojo Jr., I guess. After tonight's main event, their momentum has just hit plus six. Also notable, the market has started off fairly strong as well and is currently sitting at a plus four. Our match of the evening goes to a match that never should have happened. Bam Bam Bigelow and Warren Buffett. They will have booking priority next week when we kick off the high risk, high reward night terror tournament. 16 wrestlers in a single elimination bracket. The winner of the final match is booked for the last dance. The loser of the final match is earmarked 
for end of season retirement. That is how we lost Taiji Ishimori. It's going to be a tense couple of weeks. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Remember, our goal this week is 17 likes. Do we dare? I think we can do it. Remember, every time you tap that like button, it's like telling YouTube that other people might enjoy this video as well. So it's a really easy way to support the channel. Thanks again, everybody. I'll see you next week. And until then, world peace.